Well, the Byron Tigers football team is the talk of the town right now. There are three fans also making headlines throughout the community, supporting their students, staff, and athletes one video at a time. Good afternoon. Hey, Tiger Nation. Hey, guys. Hey. They're not your typical high school teachers. That's when we usually uh, set up camp to make sure we get good tickets yeah. for the game. Biggest fans got to have the best tickets. These three are known as the Byron Super Fans. We're just kind of being silly, to be honest with you. We'd sit around the lunch table and... And we started mocking the, the super fans from Saturday Night Live, you know, the Bears, and kind of thought <laughs> we could do something like that. Dwayne Prex, Ryan Danhorn, and Mike McHale are the ultimate hype men, interacting with the students and making things fun. I mean, as a, as a teacher, we're trying to build community with our kids and, and with the community. Uh, you know, all the research shows a sense of belonging helps kids do better in school, and that, that kind of, for me, is the biggest impact. This is a, an annual event, it just seems like. Winning, winning's a big thing around here. Their wildly creative videos are a hit on social media, some of the most popular, though, are their always fascinating score predictions ahead of that week's football game. 72-0. I think right. that's going to be close. Uh -huh. But one of their favorite topics to touch on is what the coach, as they call Jeff Boyer, is wearing on the sidelines each week. But throughout their time as the super fans, they say there hasn't been one bad rating. Never, I can't think of one. He's normally Not on point. One. No. Style is right there. We can't disparage the coach, yeah. right? <laughs> Boyer says the crew is so good, they can spot an error in his sideline fit from a mile away. I think they're waiting for me outside the locker room and uh, get a quick update as I'm walking out to the field. And, you know, the best one was when, uh, when I actually forgot a, a belt. My wife had to bring my belt to the game, and they actually noticed that. So, you know, attention to detail there. Despite releasing videos throughout the week, Mikhail says he does still work full time. Less time than it probably seems. We do actually um, teach and have families and, yeah. and uh, coach and we do all sorts of things. So um, it doesn't take as much time as you think, but we usually sit around lunch and kick around ideas. And once the ideas start brewing, it just kind of rolls from there. It's all in good fun for the students and staff at Byron High School. And the super fans say they can see the positive impact it makes on the students and the staff's lives as they walk the halls. Yeah, and it just builds school culture. It makes it a, a more enjoyable place to come to work, I think, and for the kids to come to school. And we had a girl this morning when we walked out of a classroom there, she was like, good morning, like she was afraid we were going to interview her, but also looking forward to it. So it's, it's fun. These guys are so cool, they even let me be a part of their video. Now the Tigers and their super fans look to pack up and hit the road as they head to play on Teeny. Bruts, bun, where's my, where's my super suit? And I hope he finds that super suit in time for Saturday's big game against Montini. A huge thank you to the super fans for letting me be a part of their squad for the day. Stay tuned to their page for another fun video this week as the Tigers prepare for state semis this weekend.